Hey what's up guys, it's Gears. Come back to my laboratory, where safety is number one priority. Going bros, my name is PewDiePie. Wow, that was weird. Anyways, welcome to my new video. Today we are going to make a Chris Vector relevant gun with blowback action. The first step will be to cut out the templates. But wait, maybe I can avoid using these dangerous scissors. Let me check my power level very quick. Oh, good. It's over 9000! What? 9000? There's no way that can be right! Then stick the templates to the wood. Mark the holes with a center punch and drill them. Then saw out all the pieces. By the way, because a lot of people ask, I just wanted to say that the tool I'm using here is called a scroll saw. These are all the parts you are going to need to make this gun. The first part to assemble is the trigger. To do this, just stick these three parts together. Same goes with these parts. Now, if you want to have a collapsible stock, you will need to cut the part here. I think I have some power left to do that right now. This is how the slide will be assembled. The next step will be to glue these pieces together. This assembly needs to move very freely for this mechanism to work properly. Now for the rubber band gun part of this mechanism, you will need to drill a hole into this part and put a spring into it. This is how the whole mechanism has to be assembled. You can use a pin like this to attach the rubber band to the body of the gun. This will make the slide go back after the trigger has been pulled. Now close the lid. Please do not use glue, otherwise you won't be able to get the gun apart if you need to. Then glue the riser block to the slide. The grip should be screwed on, so you can remove it to get the gun apart. If you have cut the buttstock off, you can now add a hinge to it and use some rubber bands like shown to make it stay open or closed. Now make the barrel and muzzle like shown.
You can attach the barrel to the gun by drilling a hole into the gun like I did it. Now sand the body of the gun. Rounding off the corners is very important to give it a very good feel. Now this is how the finished gun looks like. It took a lot of sanding to make the moving parts work very reliably and to make the gun look smooth and round. Reloading the gun is very easy. Just hook a rubber band onto the gun and the hook like I'm doing it right now. Hey, why are you so far away? Come a little closer and you will see it better. Ah, that's more like it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like or maybe subscribing to my channel. You can also check out my Twitter or Instagram accounts if you want to see new pictures of new upcoming videos. Links are in the description below. Thanks and bye bye.